the devil fought so hard to keep you from hearing this video because this video right here is about to change your life go ahead send this video to everybody you know i need to talk to you about something so real the bible says in psalm chapter 34 verse 4 it says i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears you see when we truly seek god you got me not only does he hear you but he delivers you from all of your fears see he replaces that fear with faith faith is f-a-i-t-h forward action and trusting him he gives you so much peace to where you make the decision internally to say you know what i'm not even gonna stress about that i'm not gonna live in fear i'm not gonna live in bondage no more i'm gonna trust god because the Bible says the word of God is quick and it's alive. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. That means all it takes is one word from God to pierce your situation. Because remember, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. It can pierce that situation that you're going through. You may say, man, the situation I'm going through, though, DeMarc, I don't know if you really know like how crazy this situation is. Of course, God can get you through it. The same way he got you through the last situation. But you got to seek him. But many times, listen to me, we mess up. We seek everything else in the world looking for comfort. Some people, they go to smoking, they go to drinking, they go to calling around gossiping. They, 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 they seeking and see, they trying to fill that void. But God wants you to come to him and seek him. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. We have to seek the Lord anytime I'm going through something. <laughs> Boy, I call a timeout in life. <laughs> you feel me? Let me show you what I do. Let me put this right here. I call a timeout. Because I'm going to be real. If you ever watch a basketball game, you got me? The team that usually wins is the ones who use their timeouts. <laughs> like, why would you play a full game, a competitive game, and not utilize your timeouts? If you ever losing, call a timeout. So you can talk to your coach. Let me show you what I do. I'm going through a situation. I'm a little stressed. Time out. I need to spend some time with my father. Time out. I, 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 I need to talk to God about this situation. I'll get back to you in a little bit, homie. I need to spend some time with my heavenly father. Then here it is. I get in the word and, and, and I seek the Lord and he give me clarity. He give me wisdom. He give me wisdom, knowledge, understanding. He give me peace because peace is not something. It's someone. You have to seek him and want more of him. And listen to me. Not only will he fill you with, 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 with peace, but you'll be able to walk in faith and he'll remove that fear. Does that make sense? So I need you to choose to seek the Lord. No matter what situation you currently going through, seek the Lord. You may say, DeMarcus, my life is going good. I ain't got no troubles. You really need to seek the Lord. Don't lose your worship. Just because things going good, don't let that stop you from praising the Lord. Don't let that stop you from seeking the Lord. Continually seek him. Even if God don't do anything else for you in your life, he's already done enough by sending his son. To die on the cross for all your sins so you could be redeemed. That's more than enough to praise him every single day of the week. Don't let your praise be conditional. But uh, what, what you mean by that, Demarcus? Like, see, God's love for you is unconditional. That means it's not based upon condition. <laughs> it's not based upon condition or performance. He loved you and he chose you. So don't let your praise be conditional. Don't let your praise be conditional. Oh, 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 I got that blessing, so now I'm going to praise him. No, listen to me. You praise him regardless because of who he is. He knows what he's doing, man. You may not see a blessing. You may, In the natural, you may not say, I don't feel like I'm blessed. But boy, you're blessed because you got, you got breath in your lungs. You got clothes on your body. You got a roof over your head. Boy, you better be grateful. Learn to, learn to thank him for the little things. Be thankful, man. Be grateful. Have an attitude of gratitude and let that determine your altitude in terms of how you operate in your day in the faith zone. And I'll leave you with this right here. While we talking about fear, the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. So it's no wonder in Psalm 34 uh, verse 4 it says, I sought the Lord and he, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Because the scripture also say that perfect love casts out fear. Who is perfect love? God, because God is love. 
John 3, 16, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So perfect love casts out fear. So he made the sacrifice. That was his perfect love for you. The Bible says we love him because he first loved us. That's how much God loves you. Perfect love casts out fear. So watch this. If you don't want fear in your life, you need to immerse yourself in the one who is love. Because see, faith and fear cannot inhabit the same place at the same time. When you invite faith through the front door, fear runs out the back door because faith and fear can't inhabit the same place at the same time. See, well, I'm going to wind my window down. I'm going to invite faith through the front door. And guess what fear got to do? Fear got to go out the back. <laughs> I love this little window thing, man. Ooh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Oh, watch this. If you had a little puppy dog and y'all walking down the street. And, and it's snowing, right? And you see a little puddle of water. And they had a sign right next to the puddle of water that say, dangerous. This is the coldest puddle of water you ever seen in your life. As a matter of fact, if you stand in here, <laughs> your toe might freeze off. You'll be like, dang, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't stepping in that. All of a sudden, not on purpose, but all of a sudden, you walk in your little doggy and, you, and, and, and your little dog fall in that one foot puddle. Or water what you gonna do keep it real with me like you love your dog like what you gonna do boy you gonna step in that thing and grab your dog and dry him off or what uh, or whatever why is that because you love your dog see at first you was fearful of the puddle you was like oh i ain't gonna do that but see perfect love casts out fear your love for the dog outweighed your fear of the puddle perfect love cast out fear that's what the scripture mean so god loved you so much he ain't look at death like i don't know if i can i don't know if i did no 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 jesus listen to me jesus put on flesh to come get it done for you why is that because perfect love casts out fear so we ain't living in fear no more we've been blood bought man we've been blood bought you got me. I want to look you in your eye when I tell you this. You have no reason to be fearful today, but every reason to be faithful because God loves you. Please send this video to everybody, you know, hey, I, I'm a greet them. OK, whoever you send the video to when they watch it, this is what they're going to see right here. What's up, fam? The person who sent you this video, they love you and they want to let you know God loves you. All right. You got me. And in case ain't nobody ever told you. Or in case nobody told you recently. You are loved. You are amazing. You chosen. The person who sent you the video wants you to know you chosen. You one of a kind. You got a purpose and God going to use you. Don't believe the lies of the devil. You still got a purpose on your life. And you got a booger in your nose. I see you. Don't try to wipe it. I see it. It's on the left side. You need a Kleenex, man. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need then I need you to comment the words. God has a purpose for me. Because that's right. He got a purpose for me, purpose for you, for the dude who just pulled up at the gas station right next to me. On pump number. I don't even see a number sign. He got a purpose for everybody, man. And it's not by accident, incident, or coincidence. It's by the providence of God that you right here on this video. God loves you, all right? I need you to go out there and have an amazing day. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.